this video, I'm gonna give you three peekaboo footwork and head movement patterns you can practice when working on your footwork or shadow boxing. Now let's begin. Footwork and head movement combination pattern number one is gonna be the slip, slip, and pivot. Slip, slip, and pivot. So when I'm in my peekaboo stance, first thing I'm gonna do is slip, slip, pivot. So if I slip first to my right hand side, I'm immediately slip to my left hand side. You see how my body's angled here. Because of this momentum, my head's out here, I'm gonna pivot this way. Okay, so the first one is gonna be this way. Slip, slip, pivot. Again, slip, slip, pivot. And I land in that crouch position. The second variation of this one, I'm gonna start on the other side, the lead hand side. So when I'm in my peekaboo stance, I'm gonna slip, slip, and since I'm down in that crouch position, I'm gonna stay low and pivot. So I'm gonna slip, slip, pivot. Just imagine you're in close to your opponent. Okay, my opponent's right here. I slip to the side, slip to his outside, then I pivot, and then I can fire my combinations when I cut that angle. Again, let's review both of them. First one, slip, slip, pivot. The important part is when you pivot, don't pop up. Stay crouched. All right, now do the other side. Slip, slip, pivot. That is the first footwork pattern combined with head movement. The second footwork slash head movement combination you can practice is I'm going to just like the slip, slip, pivot. I'm going to weave, weave, pivot. Okay, then I can pivot back home. If I go the other way first, weave, Weave so I stay crouched, knees are bent, pivot, and then I pivot back home. Okay, so again, I'm in my stance, I'm gonna weave, weave, pivot, pivot back. All right, I'm gonna go the other way. Weave, weave, pivot, pivot back. Making sure when you do the weave, this elbow, like a small letter U, comes to this knee. Okay, when I weave the other way, this elbow comes to this knee. You see that on video? Knee to knee. All right, so again, weave, weave, pivot. Pivot, snap back. Pivot, pivot back. That is pattern number two. Pattern number three is gonna combine your slipping and your weaving with that lead pivot. So you're gonna, remember, start on this side first. I'm gonna slip, slip, weave, pivot, pivot back. Okay, slip, slip, weave, pivot, pivot back. Now I wanna go to the other side. Okay, I'm gonna slip, slip, weave, stay in that crouch position, pivot, and pivot back. Slip, slip, weave, pivot, and pivot back. Making sure you stay low on your pivots. You're not doing this, slip, slip, weave, and then standing up and pivoting. You wanna keep your center of gravity low in that defensive position. That is footwork, head movement combination, Number three, once you get those three patterns down, you can add these drills or patterns into your shadow boxing. I'll give you a quick example. Let's say I'm shadow boxing. I'm in my stance. I'm moving my head. Okay, and then let's say after my last punch, I throw a combination, I'm gonna do the first one, slip, slip, pivot. All right, so let's say I throw a, a seven, two, one. Seven, two, one, slip, slip, pivot. And then maybe I can shoe shine, throw my combinations, move my head, okay? So do that again. Maybe I throw a seven, two, one, slip, slip, pivot. All right, let's say I go to the other side now. So I go seven, two, one, slip, slip, pivot. Again, seven, two, one, slip, slip, pivot. Add the double weave. Seven, two, one, weave, weave, pivot. And I can fire my shots on when I cut that angle, right? Seven, two, one, weave, weave, pivot. Go to the outside, throw my shots, move my head. Okay, now do number three. Let's go seven, two, one, slip, slip, weave, pivot. Then I can fire. Okay, again, seven, two, one, slip, slip, weave, pivot. Now I'm gonna do the other side. Seven, two, one, slip, slip, pivot, or weave and then pivot. That is how you can add them to your shadow boxing.